Hello and good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm here too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Okay, there we go. Do you want to figure that out? Yes, I can figure that out. Okay. We're just going to get. Hang on. We're going to get started in a minute. There we go. It's, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Okay. Okay. There we go. Hello, everyone. You Hello. can't see us, but we're here. It's Julia Hi. and Brianna, and um, the weather's kind of crappy out there. It sure so, is. So it's a little quiet here in the store. So this early this morning, I think Glenn texted you. Here, put yeah. your arm up. You can see our tattoos at the same time. Matching tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Glenn texted you. He did. This morning and said, hey, do you want to do a demo with me today? And, and immediately I was like, yes. So yes. we were both running around gathering crafty things from our crafty spaces. And we didn't know what each other was bringing, which nope. was kind of fun. And i um, just going to move that a little bit. There we go. So we're just going to sit here and craft with you for a little while. Can oh, you? is that a little too much now? Is there, can we see the comments? I don't yeah, the comments, the oh, comments there, are on the oh, side. Oh, I, yeah. I was looking to see if they're... I nope. can't read them from over here. Oh, okay. Well, hello, <laughs> Jennifer. Hello, Sarah. Hello, hello Joanne. Hello, Wendy. Hello, 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 hello. So it's our second day for our Leap Into March sale. Yes. Buy three Distress Oxides or Sprays and get your fourth for, th for free. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be playing with some of these. Mm -hmm. You're going to be playing with something different, but I did want to remind people about the Leap Into March uh, sales. So this is happening in store until four or online until eleven fifty nine p.m. Yes. Hello. Okay. I might I might dabble with the sprays, but they're not something um, I really use. I don't own any sprays, so they're um, uncharted territory for me. <laughs> but um, I might I might play. But I do have my distress embossing glazes out, so I'm definitely going to be using those, and I'm going to be doing some embossed. Um, backgrounds and might play with some waxes so show that new embossing folder oh, oh this one yeah Damn. so I actually just bought this one this morning so I am gonna be using this one because it's just oh the light glare there there we go it's just absolutely gorgeous and actually just before we went live I was just playing around with the embossing glazes and this embossing folder and um, I created this what embossing glazes did you use? So the embossing glazes I used... Over there. Oh, there it is. Um, so I use bundled sage. So that's the bottom there. And then I also used... Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Mm -hmm. Peacock feathers. feathers, yeah. Yeah. So I used those embossing glazes on the background there. So how did you how did you do that though? So, Tell us. Now just wait, Joanne says what? the second one called you didn't say the name. I said peacock, peacock feathers. feathers. Oh I didn't hear you. So Joanne says, can you talk about spray stains versus oxides and whether or not you need both? How do you use them together? I will definitely talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so you finish this, Brianna, and then I'll start talking about the sprays. Yes. Where did my uh my, oh, my here. actual Oh there it is. Alright, so I took my folder. And I decided that I wanted the background to be the color parts, not the raised images. I wanted the background to be colored. So what I did is I took my Versamark um, embossing ink and I ran it along the side. Um, the flat side. The flat side. Yeah. Yeah. So I just ran my pad all along the flat side, stuck my paper in, went over to my um, uh, big, big shot, shot, ran it through. And so the ink was then left on the background of the paper there. And then I just dumped my embossing glazes over top. I, I love that. Not a lot of people know that you can do that with your embossing folders. Mm -hmm. So that's really, that's a fun one, um, doing it with your embossing um, ink. But you can also just take a regular ink pad. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what I do when I'm not exactly sure which side I'm going to like most, um, which side I'm going to like most, mm -hmm. is I'll take my ink pad and run it over both sides, mm -hmm. put my paper in, emboss it, and then when it comes out, I can flip it over and be like, oh, I like the deboss side yes. even better. So that's really fun to do. Yes. And embossing folders are really easy to clean. Um, I clean the embossing ink off with a baby wipe, but you can very easily just go into your bathroom and let it run underwater, mm -hmm. especially if you're using inks that are um, water reactive. Perfect. Okay. 
So let's do a little bit about Okay, so not exactly the colors I wanted to use, but we're gonna go for it. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna see, do I have? Just gonna shake these up. Well, I don't have to shake the stain up, but you do have to shake up your oxides because it does have that pigment in it and it does separate. I don't know if you can see it, but all that pigment is sitting down there. So you need to shake it. You need to shake that roller ball in there and I tend to, instead of going back and forth, tend to go around in a circle so that roller ball is zinging around that bottom, loosening up all that pigment. Rusty hinge, I don't use a whole lot, so it's uh, <laughs> it's a little uh, it's it's a it's a little stuck. <laughs> okay, so like um, distress inks and distress oxides. Why am I struggling here to open this up? Uh, the ink, the spray stain is translucent and a lot brighter. While you're doing that, I'm just going to play. Yeah. Your, you might want to get a little bit more on this key. Uh, I'll, I'll warn you when I start spraying because this is a bit of a splash zone. Yes. <laughs> Although that might be okay though. The, yeah, you never know. The oxides are an ink pigment which means they are going to be a matte finish or a chalky finish and also going to be um, opaque. So these will actually sit on top of the spray stain. So the reason why I'm using the same color is so you can see the difference. I don't know why I keep shaking the spray stain. There's no point in it. It doesn't do anything. All I'm doing is making bubbles. You said you had foams, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, live. So much fun. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, here. Here, we'll set that. We were going to try and do this at the demo bar, but if you could see, we're actually in the workshop right now, yeah. and we've got an eight foot table and two six foot tables <laughs> and a cart beside us, and everything is covered. Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to be as mixed as good as it's going to get. Okay. So let's spray with the spray stain first. So this is Rusty Hinge. Now I'm just using the Art by Marlene paper from her art journal line. So this one, that's the paper I'm using. I'm gonna give this a dry. Did not pre-gesso this. It's not gessoed at all. So we do have a screen here in front of us so we can see your questions and comments. So feel free to put it, any questions in. And if you're already in your craft room, crafting on, you know, this crappy, crappy day, it's <laughs> awesome. We're crafting together and that's Craft amazing. together with us. Craft along. So I'm just um, taking my foam and I'm just putting some uh, embossing ink on these raised parts of my embossed paper here. And my plan is to, um, use my gold embossing powder and hopefully that'll look nice. I don't know. We'll see. I'm very nervous. I don't, I have all these people, I have all these people watching me and I'm, I'm still such a newbie and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just playing and we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to use this stencil. This is actually one of the new ones and I grabbed it. I've got a, um, a, a thing in my craft room of when I buy new stuff is I put it there. So I basically grabbed that and this is all the stuff I haven't used yet. Okay, well, there you So go. this is a Paper Artsy Stencil, came out with their last release. It's Stencil 421. They actually still have this one in stock. I was actually surprised because it's so nice. So I'm going to take that stencil. <laughs> I knew this wasn't going to work. It's not going to work. Try and turn it over and knock it. Try and knock off some of that excess. Ooh, banana bread. I don't know. It's a little much. It's a little much. <laughs> Do you know what you might have been better off doing? Hmm. Is brayering. Oh, brayering the ink on. Brayer. 
Okay, so yeah, see, see what happened? That's <laughs> too not, much. That's too much. And you know what? I had a feeling that was going to happen, but well, oh, and I just dumped gold embossing powder off. Do you, okay, thank you. <laughs> see, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, splash them. Okay, so now I'm putting the Rusty Hinge Oxide Spray over top of the Rusty Hinge Spray Stand. Now I'm going to take this. Look at how gorgeous that is. Ooh, very nice, very nice. I'm going to spray it with a bit of water off to the side. You're not going to be able to see me apply the water. I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn it over. I need to dry. I probably should have used the same color. I should have used a different color. It would show the opaqueness a little bit better. I'm gonna dry this one. I don't use Rusty Hinge a whole lot besides maybe splatter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll my paper towel just over top of my stencil. Still have ink. No, no, I've done that. Still have ink on there. I'm going to spray this again with water. Because I am not one to waste any ink. Oh yeah, Nancy, I, I, I did that with black embossing powder probably about a couple months ago and I was in tears <laughs> because it, I was finding black embossing powder like in the cracks of our hardwood and everything. Yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going for take two here with the brayer. So thank you for that lovely tip. Ooh, I actually like this page better. Oh, that's very nice. And that's what I usually find is I like the the uh, the negative instead of the positive. Sometimes it's it's a challenge. That's why I do both. Just going to clean off my stencil. So Darlene wanted to know: Do you need both? Joanne. Joanne. Sorry. What did I say? Darlene. Oh, sorry. Joanne wanted to know: Do you need both? Mm, no, you don't need both. Um, but they work well together. I wouldn't necessarily use the same color together like I did here. I am going to use a different color, a contrasting color. So give me a moment to dry this. So the main difference between oxides and the inks are exact, or the spray states are exactly like you would find with the oxide pad and the uh, Distress ink pads. One is brighter and translucent, that would be the inks and the spray stains. And then the oxides are matte or have a bit of a chalky look to it and opaque. That, that, I think that's gonna work better. Missing some parts, but you know what, that's okay. I think that... I'm just tipping this. I had some ink, so I'm tipping, tapping, tipping and tapping, Tippy and taps. just spreading that ink out, getting some interesting lines. I had nothing planned. I don't know if you can tell. Well, <laughs> I had nothing I, planned. I had some sort of idea in my head, and so far yours is working out better than mine. So <laughs> you know what? Maybe no plan. Is the when way to go. when I make plans, that's when usually things fall off the rails for me. Okay, so let me turn this around. There's my two pages. Lovely, loving this. Positive and negative. I'm going to let's retire the rusty hinge. Let's just get rid of the rusty hinge for right now. I am going to bring in some squeezed lemonade. I always suggest having a yellow. I love having yellow in my background. 
I'm actually gonna put these together because I want some yellow kind of crossing over both my pages. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This is more of the look I was going for. So Ooh, thank yeah, that you. turned out way better. So thank you for that. If anything, I hope there's some new crafters in here that are maybe, you know, a little intimidated and they're seeing, watching me and maybe it'll make them feel a little bit better because <laughs> seriously, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> now I'm going to use, uh, this is wild honey. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Because wild honey is kind of like, it's kind of yellow, kind of orange. So it's almost that in between my squeezed lemonade and my rusty hinge. So it's a nice kind of splatter one. There we go. We only have one heat tool between the two of us. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this moment to look at the... Yeah, uh, Joanne, like I said, when I plan stuff, usually things go off the rails. So I tend to, I just, I craft by the seat of my pants, just on the fly. Would and be. I have things work out much better for me. And yes, funny, I find I'm the complete opposite, although it's not working out right now. <laughs> but when I'm at home, if I sit down and I have a vision and I try to execute that vision, it doesn't go, or sorry, if I, if I don't have a vision, then... Um, and I just, you know, sit and try new things, and it kind of just turns into a muddled mess. And... Can you pass me the brayer? I'm going to use oh, my brayer nice. next. Again, we're sharing some oh, things back here. Oh, we that away. <laughs> we're sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. So maybe you're at home today in your crafty space, because you looked outside and went, uh, nope. I'm not going out in that. Nope. And we don't blame you. No. Nope. If, if I didn't have to be here, I would have done the same thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> but we're terrible parents, we say, get to work! <laughs> Slave drivers. <laughs> I tell ya. I actually really like this. It's coming, it's got, I, again, these are not colors I normally gravitate to. Yellow, yes. The orange is not so much. I'm usually a green, blue kind of person, but I'm always open to stepping outside of my comfort zone. So that is what I'm doing today, stepping outside of my comfort zone. Yes. I know not everyone is um, comfortable doing that, but that's all right. Aaron said, watching you guys in bed and showing. Oh, that's I don't blame you. I totally agree. So right now I'm just getting some white gesso out of my crafty space, my crafty mat here. All right. Well, this is lovely. So what did you use there? What, what this, embossing powder? This is the um, Ranger Princess Gold. That's pretty. That is a nice gold. Yeah. I don't know if I've got that one. It's my favorite. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the one we used in Jofi. Or maybe it's not. Ooh, it could be. It could be. But it's, it's, it's my favorite gold embossing powder. Well, that's lovely. I'll set that off to the side. Okay, love what's going on here. Love, love, love. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my brayer and this is seeming a little too solid for me. Love what's going on here, but I'm gonna break this one up a little bit with some gesso. So I'm just gonna take my brayer, just going to put some gesso on my brayer. Figured I might as well set this one even though I'm not I could still use probably, I can cut it down and probably still use it for something, but. So I'm just trying to break up this space, just so it's not so solid. Now, what you're going to see, and I can see it happening already, the gesso's not gonna stay white. It's actually going to start absorbing some of that color underneath it. So it's not gonna stay a bright, a bright white, which is great because I don't want the contrast of the white but it's actually going to be tinted um, because it is sucking up some of this color from the background, which is really cool. But you can see how I've just kind of broken it up so it's not just this blob of orange right in the middle. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Yeah, it is a very nice embossing folder. We just got it in this week. Is that the, uh, this uh, week yeah. So it's the Lily of the Valley background embossing folder from Lisa Horton. It's very nice. 
Just gonna move my pages together and just Ooh. run some just up so it, it makes it seem like they're more together here. Love what's happening here. Again, colors I don't normally gravitate to, but they seem to be working for me. Just gonna run some up the edge here. Now that this is heating up, I honestly, I, I don't hate it. It actually looks nicer after it's been embossed. Yeah. Yeah. Because before you couldn't see the detail, but no. once, now that you're drying it, you can see the detail. Yeah. Just had to give it a chance. You know, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Just, now, I'm just saying, do what you could do yeah. is emboss that panel again, don't do anything with it, and then do a, like an oval shape and place it. And so you'll have this embossed in the background, but you can have also the other one sitting on top of the sentiment on it. Yeah. I don't know if I have an oval guy. I have squares, rectangles. Maybe well, I, I, no, wait, no, I have circles. I have circles. That would work and I have too. them here. So you know what? Maybe I will. We have no timeline on this because it's pretty quiet here in the store. So we're just gonna blend do everything that the store needs to be done today. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna sit here and craft all day. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I can handle it, except for some questions for Shannon. Okay, now, okay, this is actually, this is actually really pretty. Okay, I like the gold. Here, I'm I, getting, I'm getting some. There, yeah, <laughs> sorry. But you can see how that, that went on white, but look, because it's grabbing the color underneath it, that gesso, now is kind of blending into the background because it's absorbing the ink that's on the background, which I really, really love. Totally loving that. Mm. I think I'll probably cut this down. Right now it's five by seven, but I think I'll cut it down to an A2. I think. We'll I, what do I want to do? I do want to stamp with these, but what do you need? I don't know. Maybe I, I don't want that just quite yet. That might be my sentiment near the end. I'm loving this though. Okay, what do I want to do now? Let me grab, I'm going to grab this stencil back. So now that I've got my sprays down, now I think I'm going to do a pop of color over top. Um, so if I do... I'm getting there. I should have brought my heat tool. I should have brought it. Oh. I am looking. Do I want to use Kiwi Gold? Maybe I'll start with Kiwi Gold. Okay, I think I think we're good. There we go. Finally. Okay. It's a lot Ooh. of it's a lot of gold, but it's actually really pretty. It is really pretty. Actually, do you know what you could do is you get like a like even a round punch and you punch out circles of it that would look really cool okay so i've got kiwi gold so i'm going to use that color okay. i'm going to use what else do i want to use maybe a guy Okay, so I have some exciting things that happened this morning. Got notification that our paper artsy order is um, been picked up by, or yeah, it's in transit, I should say. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, so paper artsy is on its way. Um, also got notification that 49 and Market is also ready to ship. So I requested that shipment this morning. Oh my gosh, so excited for that. Um, also, for those of you registered for the Jennifer Edwardson workshops for next weekend, um, check your emails because I sent out her kit instructions for her UYOP. So make sure you check your emails if you're signed up for any of the Jennifer Edwardson because I sent out three separate emails one for Friday, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. So if you're signed up for the entire weekend, you should be looking for three emails. Oh my word. 
Ugh, I love how this is coming together. Okay, so look at that. It's just so subtle, but look what it did. It's still breaking up the spaces and I've only used one stencil, the same stencil with the sprays and now I'm using it for paints. Okay, so let's do the same over here because we're going to try and keep it consistent. You know what? I don't think I've used this Kiwi Gold yet. I think this is one of Seth After's new ones. That is a good one. It's one of their translucent paints. Absolutely gorgeous. So I am applying paint using a blending foam. And I always say when you're using blending foam and paint, less is more. Because you can always go back, pick up more paint, and go through your stencil. If you sock this up and start pressing it through your stencil, it's just going to sploosh out and it's go under your stencil and you're going to lose all the definition of your uh, stencil image. So say I like it. Yeah, no, it looks great, but maybe I want a little bit more paint. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to dip it back in my paint, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to come back and do another layer. Love. Okay, so I've done down there. So let me do it up in this corner. And when you're applying paint through a stencil, you want to tap. Don't run it back and forth because you're also going to get seepage underneath your stencil onto your paper. So you just want to tap. Ooh, oh, I love that. Now I've got sage here. Do I want to use the same stencil? Thinking, actually no, I'm gonna use a different stencil. Now don't hate me. This stencil is currently out of stock, but I have reordered it. <laughs> <laughs> this one is also a new one. So I have reordered this stencil. It is, let me put it on here, this one. It's this one right here. It is stencil 419. And I am going to grab a new phone. So if you want this stencil, you can find it on our online store and click on the notify me button and it will be here next week. Thoughts? Ooh, I like it. I'm pop them up, I think. Yeah. Do you know, uh, just a thought, because your background is gold, you could take that white I gold know, wax. That's what I was thinking. And rub it over top. That's what I was thinking. So what I've done is I embossed the Lily of the Valley background again on a sheet of white paper and then um i used my prism studio um, stitch circle dies nesting dies and i cut out three different sizes there so now i'm going to take um this prima white gold wax and just with my finger i'm just going to brush some of that over top of these i think we had somebody asking us about the waxes somebody i can't remember on one of our lives how do you use the waxes? I don't remember who that was. Yeah. I need more kiwi gold. More kiwi gold. I hope that Jennifer Everton comes back in the fall so I can take her class. Uh, we haven't even talked to Jennifer about that. This one uh, seems to be going very well. We've filled it. So maybe while she's here, I can... Um, encourage her to come back. I would love for her to come back. She's so lovely. She is lovely. She is a lovely person. <laughs> there we go. So that wax just kind of brings out those images just a little bit more. Oh, that's actually pretty. Pretty nice. use the stencil yet it's gorgeous because you have 500 stencils Shh. and I mean 
<laughs> it's a little hard to choose a stencil when you have so many to choose from. All I'm the sorry. stencils. All the stencils. I didn't. I didn't just unearth a secret. This is common knowledge. She <laughs> literally know. has it's, that many stencils. I stopped counting at 500, and I've bought more since then. Yeah. So there you go. I'm just like whatever. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, it is very elegant, isn't it? I like that the, this wax I'm using, it's called white gold, so it's not, it, it's not exactly like the gold that I've used on the background. Oh, oh, oh look at that, I love it. I love it so much. I lick it, I lick it a lot. What is the blue that you've used for the text? Uh, it is paper artsy fresco paint and it's agave. So I'm using kiwi gold and agave. So I'm trying to use kiwi gold on the top word and the bottom word and then I'm using the agave going through the center. I might have to come in with like a Posca or a gel pen just to make that um, word stand out. So I might do that. Lovely. I love it. I'm just gonna set that aside while I do. I think I'm going to do journey on this side. Thinking the thoughts. <laughs> now, call me crazy. I'm adding, You're crazy. I'm, I'm going to add black splatter. Ooh, that's cool. Yes, I feel like this, I feel like it needs a I, little bit of contrast because there's so much gold happening. And I'm going to come in with my black Posca, get it all juicy. Now, oh, that's juicy. Okay. <laughs> it's she juicy. Did you want to use this to tap it on? Yep. Yep. That's that's juicy. <laughs> so normally, if I'm playing with paints on my stencils, I would grab my scrubby soap, go to the sink, and scrub this off. But, or have a stencil bath, which I also don't have. So I'm just going to take a minute just to wipe this paint off before. Stop! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. Yes, need to play more with everything. All yes. the things. You know what I have been doing the last two nights? I've had meetings on Zoom. So while I've been doing those meetings, I've been color swatching my Distress watercolor pencils. So I'm not done yet, because I have six sets, so it's taking me some time, but even that, just plain, oh my gosh, so much fun. I guess we should remind people that Mari's challenge is up tonight at seven. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't joined in yet, you might want to do that. Her challenge is hashtag use it. Hey, do you know what? We could put these on her challenge. We could, yes. I'm, cause you're using something new and I'm yes. using something that I haven't used yet. So true, true. Very not true. that we can win. No, we cannot. We cannot win. 
things while I'm waiting for the heat tool. I'm just gonna ink the edges of my pages. Just using some black ink here. Actually really enjoy that immensely. So let's see here. What am I gonna do? I have three circles. I don't I don't think I'm gonna use all of them now. I don't know. Do I even want to use these now? I don't know. <laughs> no, nope, I changed my mind. Choices. Choices. Those are out. Those are out, out, out. Ooh, however. I'll be back. All right, so I've just inked the edges. I'm just going to dry, just make sure my paint is all dry here. There we go. <clears throat> Just looking to say, I brought all of my poskets. So let me see. Going to see if I brought my fine line white posca pen. So many white poskets. Oh, that's, oh, I love that. That is so nice. Yeah, okay, done. Easy. Now I need to Do I have enough them? white poskets? I have all the sizes of all the Poscos. Oh, and these two are melted. I'm just gonna do black, but I think white would be a little bit easier on the eyes. Hmm. Be a little too thin. Let me use this one. Obviously, haven't used this one in a while. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. got it. So I'm just going around the outline of these words, just the ones that I want to stand out. So I'm just taking my pasta jelly roll pen would also work, but I like the pastas. So, and another thing I really like about the, um, the Paper Artsy paints is they have a nice flat finish. There's no tooth in it, which is really great because now I know it's not going to ruin the nib of my Posca pen. Such a tiny detail, like did I need to go in and do these words? No, but it, it's just gonna help them stand out stand out from that background. What are you working on, Brianna? I'm working on my sentiment and I actually pulled out my um, faux wax seal stamp and die set. We do still have this one um, here at the store. So it's like creating a wax seal without having to do the wax seal. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do the actual like wax seal, full wax seal part. I think I'm just gonna use um, this Thanks, Mandela Thanks. And that's gonna go on the front of my card. And I am going to emboss my sentiment because I learned this tip from Heather and now I can't go back. So I'm actually gonna stamp the sentiment using my VersaFine um, Onyx Black. And then I'm gonna use a clear embossing powder over top of it. <laughs> I'm screwed up. What did you do? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't look how you spelled journey. I forgot it ran off the page. 
<laughs> so that's going to be a good spot to put like a sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is that, that doesn't look right. Why does right? that look so weird? But we don't make mistakes in crafting. We have creative um, opportunities. Yes. In the words of Bob Ross. Yeah. Just a happy little accident. <laughs> That's right. I stamped with my Versa Fine Onyx Black. Uh, I just put some clear embossing powder over top. So it really doesn't matter that I spilt all that black embossing powder a couple months ago because now I don't need it. <laughs> this is my replacement <laughs> for black embossing powder, although it still does have its place, but a little bit less. Another thought. Oh my gosh. Casey, the, the juices are flowing now. Too many crafty thoughts. Okay, I'm going to do this one. See, this is the word I screwed up over there. So now I have the opportunity to fix it <laughs> on the other page. You can see that. There we go. Ooh, see, look pretty. at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. That was a stamp? Yep. Sure was. Why didn't I have that one? I, I need know. to borrow it from you. <laughs> that's gorgeous. I think I, I think you, I, you have the wax seal. I have stamp. the wax seal, yes. I have the actual wax seal stamp. Yeah. I need to take a moment to clean up some of this paint because um, getting, I'm feeling it's, it's getting away from you a little bit. I'm I'm losing some crafty space, and in a few minutes I will be over here in your crafty. Oh, space. in my crafty space. <laughs> Do you are you going to be needing the the heat tool? No, no. Okay, then I'm putting it way up. All right, I'm going to go die cut this out now, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm right. just going to clean up this paint. Now I'm going to do some stamping. Okay, there we go. You don't happen to have any uh, tape, do you? Mm. No, no, I don't have any tape. Okay, I am loving where this is going. Really enjoying this. Now, let me grab that stamp set. Here we go. So this is, what is this one? Oh, Love Notes from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, but I am thinking, hey, while you're up there, can you grab me a stamp block? Oh, never mind. I see a stamp block here. Okay. Never mind. That was mine. Yes, I'm using yours. Do you keep, I don't keep these. The outline. I could take them off. I find them a pain in the butt. I get you. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the individual hearts here. I know people who keep this rubber. I don't. I just rip it off and take it. Just get rid of it. Okay, so I'm just placing my stamps in kind of a cluster on my stamp block there. I'm using the solid ones, not the outline. And I'm going to use, going to use Cloud9 Black. Look at how cute that is. Oh, that is very cute. I wish I would have brought my, my gold threads, because some gold oh, thread. Yeah, I know, I was thinking some. Hmm, I don't really have anything. But 
but yes, that would. Okay, um, now to try and assemble this bad boy. I am gonna go, because I've done some black ink splatter, I actually am gonna go around the edges with my black VersaFine. I love inking my edges with black. It's harsh, but I love it too. I really like it. I really like it. Lovely. And I need an individual. I need a person. You need a person. Maybe I need a person. Would a person go well on mine? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I could. Maybe I could stick a person in behind. Do, do I like the Tim Holtz paper dolls? Maybe. maybe. Maybe a little bit. I guess it would have to be maybe like a, a lady or something. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it'll look out of place, but we'll try. This is not the best way to store these. I'm just going to say that. That one's a little bit. Those are a no, little bit too big. Little bit. Ooh, sheesh. I have too many of these people. Oh, she looks but very. I cut. I used just the head of that guy. So. <laughs> Do, oh, 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 I like that one. one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I love the paper dolls. They bring so much fun. This is definitely not my usual style, but... Mm. Maybe you need a fancy girl. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe. Oh, I kind of like that, that. Actually, do you have any more fancy girls I can take a peek at? Here. Let me just set this in front of me here. Let's see. I like her, but she's a little small mm -hmm. for the page. Oh, that's fun. I actually like that one. I'm trying to get these back in stock, and for the love of Pete, they have been on back order forever, and it's very annoying. Yeah, see, that kind of matches her shorts there. Ooh, yes, I love it. This is so not me, but we're going with it. This is not what I would usually uh, usually do. It, it, well, I'm not crafting space, but I see you're, you're rubbing off on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. I still wish I had something coming out the top there. Hmm. What a shame. I love that. Yeah, you need some threads or stuff. You, do we have any? You could probably go to the demo bar and grab one of those. I need something to cover up my little mistake there. It could be him. I, I like this. I love this. It's really starting to work for me now. Now I just need, I think, one more person. Ooh. I usually like to work in threes, but I don't know. I might have to do something over here. Maybe that, and then my sentiment up there. Loving it. Okay, things are happening. I hope you're enjoying spending some um, some crafty time with us. Um, I wish there were more options for paper dolls out there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> Before I started getting into the paper dolls, um, I used to frequent antique shops a lot. And I bought a box of photos, old photos. 
and they look like this. And I actually photocopied them onto paper and made my own paper dolls before Tim Holtz um, then took it upon himself to do it. You know, I go up to the demo bar yeah. and I end up with gilding flakes on my hands. I did not handle any gilding flakes Sorry. while I was up there. Sorry, right, my bad. You know, <laughs> you know. Okay, so I did grab a yard of the Spellbinders Vivant Metallic Gold Thread. So I've never used thread. How do I, how do, how Ooh. do I do? Okay, so to make a little, what I like to term a nest, is I take my, my uh, fingers mm -hmm. and I'll take the end and I'll kind of stick it in between two of my fingers and mm -hmm. hold it. And then just loosely kind of wrap it mm -hmm. around. Now, do you have any like foam squares? I do. I do. Okay. So I tend to just like gather it in a circle. And then when I put it down on my space, mm -hmm. I'll just kind of play with it. And then if you're going to pop this up on a foam, yeah. what I would do is take a foam dot. So take one of those and kind of put it. Now, where's that going to go? Kind of right. Like right in here? Yeah. So put a foam square kind of right there. And then take your release paper off. And then I take the ends and I curl the ends up and stick them on that, oh, on yes. that square. So okay. just the ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then this is going to stick in the middle. So you might want to put some little ones around the outside edge. Okay. Because now you've got this gathering of twine. Like, this is what we're kind of going for right here. I don't know if you can. So there's the twine there that we just kind of loosely put on. Okay. There we go. Do that. What a fantastic idea. Start the car. Darlene, are you sure you want to? I think she's adventure. talking about my idea. Of, I, oh. Like I said, and. And I should also say, I am also a creator of, or not a creator, a collector of our family genealogy. I've had many relatives give me boxes and boxes of old family photos. And so I've gone through all of them. And if, there, if there's nobody on it identified or that I recognize as being someone from our family genealogy, because we've got a lot of uh, photographers, and memory keepers in my family. So I've got a lot of photos of people I don't know who they are. They could be friends, they could be distant relatives, I don't know. So I have a box of those at home and I will do the same, is I will photocopy them and then I will make my own paper dolls. <laughs> Oops. I got a foam square on top of a foam square there. Oh, oh no, it's still good. It's all yeah. okay. okay. And then you're gonna put that on there? But that's gonna go on there and then a sheen. Uh oh, she should have been tucked before. Oops. <laughs> you know what? That's you should, okay. That's okay. You should still be able to pull it up. We're learning about layering. Here, here. You just need to pull that up, stick her in. There we go. There and then, we and go. Then I'll just... Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> can I can I get get it off of something? Yeah, well. It looks like she's got a, a really messy tattoo. Yes. <laughs> oh. You know what? Honestly, you won't. Whoever gets this, if anyone gets this, they won't even know. How did that happen? Why do I have this all over my hand? Sheesh. Look, it's all. <laughs> I'm mad now. I hate it when that happens. Look, it's all over my thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's from splattering. Or is it? You know what? Okay, Whatever. I'm going to um, stamp this, this sentiment from this stamp set, which is Be Yourself. I'm going to use my Misty. Actually, do you know what? No, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. This one. There we go. She just needs a little 
Du kannst mir mal so spießen. Yes, Brianna's, this one here is an art by Marlene, her, her lady here. The ones that I'm using are the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Um, and the art by Marlene ones, those are the ones we are trying to get back in stock. Yes, I've, had them, I've had them on order for quite a while. Well, aside from black fingerprints. <sighs> enjoyed how this turned out. I wasn't sure and now it's done and I love it except then I ruined I, it. I always say it's a process. You, know, you need to get a little butterfly. Stick some little butterflies on it. See there's never mistakes. There's always just creative opportunity. Well I do have there is. Oh no that's one that's missing. Never mind. Well I don't have any butterflies here but you know what I do have? Wink Estella. <laughs> I cut my piece of paper too small for this thing. I tried to eyeball it. Shouldn't do that. I'm obsessed with Wink Estella. It is my favorite. And um, don't be Still. mad at me though, because we don't have any right now. Still trying to get more it's, in. It's on back order. But I had a very um, helpful tip from uh, Kathy one of our customers and she told me that if you're um when Estella runs out there's usually still quite a bit of mica left in the pen and she said adding alcohol into the pen will uh keep your wink Estella going for a little bit longer so you know in these trying times when we can't get wink Estella desperate times. desperate times call for desperate measures so when mine runs out and if we're still sold out then that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add alcohol into the chamber of the pen there and just uh keep her going pass me the heat tool please all right i i'm actually gonna add some Winkasella to my little lady here just to her headphones Seriously, I, I add Wink of Stella to probably almost every single card that I make. And if I don't, it's usually because I forgot. <laughs> Not because I didn't want to. Do the little pipes. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Actually, one more. For glasses and lenses. There we go. Yeah, let's get that sparkle. All right. There. She is finished. Fantastic. Sorry you're getting that shadow on there, but I'll take some pictures and I'll put them in the uh, inspiration room. That one's done. I'm happy with that. I'm, I like how that turned out. That's insane. How it went from being like, oh, I don't know, to, <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> Sometimes it's all about trusting the process. Yeah. Well, I don't really have much else planned, but you know what I am going to do? I'm going to uh, show off this wax again. So I have um, this already uh, embossed. This is the 3D Texture Fades Embossing Folder Wood Grain. This is the Tim Holtz Embossing Folder. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So um, I actually have a few backgrounds. I'm not going to go through all of these, but here it is embossed on three different colors of cardstock. This is just our regular 80 pound basil cardstock. Sorry, trying to get it in the frame there. So we have um, black and then um, I have a, a brown and then the craft is on the end. I don't know, I think the black might be blackberry squirrel. It's probably blackberry squirrel. And then the one in the middle, couldn't tell you. I'm sorry, I could go match it, but it's brown. And then the one on the left is craft. So those are very, very nice. But I'm going to take Nancy Mason Nichols watching. She might know what that color is. Nancy, do you know what this color is off the top of your head? Because she is our cardstock no, queen. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. Anyway, I'm just going to take my um, uh, what is it? white gold uh, wax. And once again, I'm just going to go in with my finger and just go over those raised bits. 
I'm still carting out my sentiment. I love this sentiment because I can be sort of weird and quirky. That's where I get it from. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, you know, I could get it from dad too. And you know what? Really, yeah. I had no hope. I yeah. had no we're hope. Both, we're both a little off center sometimes. Off center. <laughs> Yeah, I love using the waxes just for catching um, really great at catching, um, what am I trying to say the word? Words are hard. I don't know. Um, I help you, but I'm not 100% sure where you're going. So. Waxes are great for catching the details yes, of embossing folders, but they're also really good on um, wax seals. Uh, wax seals and molds. Oh, yes. And yeah, so if you've taken a class with Belinda or Cheryl, you've probably used waxes. Yeah. That's a, this, this wood grain embossing folder is really, really nice, but you can't... The, the details are a little bit... It's almost too detailed. Too detailed, yes. Yeah. So you definitely need something to bring out those details, and this wax does a really excellent job. That might, you know, I still have a lot of wax on my um, mat here, so I'm going to go... Oh, almost too much. Oh, well. That's okay. So there's that one. But I still have quite a bit of wax left on my mat, so I'm going to grab one of the other backgrounds here and do the same. That wax would probably show up really nice on the black. That's what I would yeah. get to. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put my words on Just Be Yourself. Let people see the real and oh, Ooh, yes. that's pretty. Look at that. It's like magic. Probably, honestly, actually, this piece here I'll end up using in my Harry Potter album, I think. Yeah, that's gorgeous. How's that one coming along? I haven't worked on it actually very much. Since Heather's Crop, since Heather's Crop, I needed a break from it. I need to step away. I can't tell in the what? Oh, the color of the cards. Oh, though. in the light. Yeah. That's okay, Nancy. I wasn't. Just it's fine. It. We were we, <laughs> we were just, just kidding. kidding. <laughs> I could go match it, but yeah. yeah, it's not like we're we're like ten feet away from the yeah. cardstock. Just be yourself, people. Let people see the real, imperfect, weird. Yeah, that, uh, that really worked on the black hole, oh, holy. That is gorgeous. Very nice. That is really nice. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, I'll probably save that one for and, my album. And the waxes smell so yummy. That's what that smell is. Yep. You know what, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, West Edmonton Mall and, like, the fountains and, like... You know the water, just the smell of that water, like fountain water, or like fountain water. It's. I'm not saying it smells good. I'm not saying I like the smell of fountain water, but that's what it reminds me of. I don't know. My sense of smell is a little weird. Well, when uh, Anna Dabrowska was here, Anna Finn, and I asked her, I'm like, how do you seriously get these waxes? So she actually chose the scent, and they are. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. I think one of them is vanilla, but there's something else. Which there actually is. Yes. She didn't want it to smell disgusting. <laughs> Thank you, Anna, for yeah. that. I don't suggest opening up your waxes and giving and them a deep them. sniff. I'm sure that can't be good, but after years of using undo, I figure, you know, at this point. Oh, I am Turned out so nice. Let me move it into frame. Very that nice. That turned out really nice. Again, colors I don't normally use, those oranges, but it turned out actually really nice. Look, more gilding flakes. They're everywhere. 
love them, but I also like mm, loathe them. Loathe them. I'm going to put this in my. Oh look, I did a art journal page. Oh, using. there you go. Yeah. Let me put these in here. This book is getting very full. I might have to take some of these pages out and bind them together because this is getting very, very full. There's the wax on the craft. It looks better in person, I'll say. But here, there's, so there's the craft. And this is the same color wax. This is, uh, what is it, white gold. So on the craft, on the black, which I think is my favorite. And then on the uh, brown. Very nice. Very, very cool. I'm going to set this aside. I am. Oh, here. Is Julia starting all over? Yes. I'm doing it. Doing another one. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what? Here. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get into the spray Glenn, action. Glenn seems to be doing fine on his own. So, yeah. so why the heck? Why, why, the, heck why, why the heck not? Why um, the heck not? Yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'm going to play with some sprays. So I want to do this. Do you want a piece of this paper? Sure. I'll get you to get into our journey. One of these days. One of these days, you will be in explore class. Yeah, me too. I'm probably going to have to go warm it up. Mine's cold. Mm -hmm. Well, when Dad's not busy, we'll get him to. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's okay. Mine's almost done. Okay. I am going to first start off with a stamped background. So I'm going to stamp my background. And because I'm going to be spraying over top of this, I'm going to be making sure that I'm using an archival ink. Would, would this be considered one? Uh, is it permanent? Pigment. Uh, is it permanent? <laughs> I can't remember. Perfect for using watercolors to color stamped in. Yes, then it'll work. I, I'm just going to follow you. I'll take that after you're done. I'll just. Okay. Can I use this over top or should I just. Absolutely. Use okay. Yep, go ahead. Okay, so I've just stamped on my background. I'm also going to be stamping some more of these hearts. Not these little ones. I'm going to put those back. See, this is why I don't like these little things because they're just. I'm going to use the outline. There we go. That is a fun stamp set. Look how cool those are. Do some second and third generation stamping. Okay, so before I do my sprays, I am just going to hit my background with some heat. Just want to make sure none of that ink is still wet because when I start adding the sprays on it, if it's still wet, it could move. And I don't want any of that uh, black ink to um, start moving on me. Okay, so just a bit of heat, make sure it's all dry. There we go, there's my background. Rihanna's doing something similar to mine. There we go. So now I'm going to look at doing some sprays. So let me just look at some colors. Um, you know, I love, I love these colors, but usually when I use any pinks or reds, it ends up looking like a murder scene. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, 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 it angers me. <laughs> it's like, why, why, why? I don't like it. Okay. Okay, but I am going to use squeeze lemonade and saltwater taffy, and I think, let me just look here, I've got saltwater taffy as a oxide as well. So I'm gonna use those two. They're going so fast. She's so fast. Oh, Sandra loves the color of your nails. Oh, thanks. Uh, they're, they're also covered in paint. They looked really good last night. Now they're, I'm gonna have to do them again tonight. Oh. So I don't know if you can see, it might be hard to see, but you can see the ink almost resists oh, the spray. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, 
So right now I just use squeeze lemonade and saltwater taffy spray stain. Spray stain. Spray stain. Spray stain. Spray stain. Oh, do you, oh. I want different colors. And I've got over here rusty hinge and I've got a couple more, but not that many. I actually don't have as many stains as I do as the oxides. I think I'm gonna go uncharted mirror. Oh, I like those solid stamps too. Yeah, actually, solid. maybe I'll use salt water taffy. Oh, yeah, the solid stamps. Yeah, they're really nice. So, salt water taffy. <laughs> Uncharted Mariner is probably going to make like a, uh, probably going to mix and almost give you like a purple. Oh, yeah. I like that. So, you just, just. Yep, just randomly sprayed. Just oh. Ah. You seem a little nervous, Brianna. I am. That's really dark. Now, I'll just say, if you've got a dark spot that you want to lighten up, you could hit it with mm. a bit of water. And because they're water reactive, they're actually going to, um, like, spread. And this particular paper is almost like a watercolor paper. Yeah, see how it's now... Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's better. So because they're water reactive, don't be afraid to hit them with a bit of water to make them spread out. Hey, Glenn. Can you warm up my coffee, please? Of course. I've been so busy creating, my coffee's gone cold. Oh, those look nice. Ooh, see that nice purple you're getting in there? Yes. Um, a water again? I want water again. Oh, yeah. We're not afraid now. <laughs> okay, so now I've got saltwater taffy in um, the oxide spray. Mm. Love that. I'm going to hit it with a bit more of the squeeze. What am I using? Squeeze lemonade. Uh, I should be using my other squeeze lemonade that's almost empty. Not the meat. Because I want to try and. I love do have Uncharted Mariner Oxide. Love this. Oh my gosh. This do is I have to make so sure well. this is completely dry before I No, adding? no. Okay. no. Um, so even if you're drying your spray stains and your oxides, they're still going to remain water reactive. They just are. Pass me the salt water taffy oxide spray, please. There you go. Thank you, kindly. All right, let's just let's see. Mm. Oh. Okay, I'm doing very little. That okay? <laughs> That's enough of that one. It's also oxides are really fun to do splatter, so you can just open mm. up. So by splatter, let me, um, that's good, that's, that's good, I like, I like, I like it a lot. Here we go. I'm going to do splatter with Villainous Potion. So again, you can see all that pigment sitting down there, so I need to shake it. Do you have picket fence? Um, I don't. No? Okay. I did bring my pale gold. Spellbinders gold, which would be nice. I did bring that somewhere. Oh, maybe I'll find that. I was, I can do a little bit of that, but I think I do want some white splatter on here. Well, if you didn't, that's okay. Ooh, Thanks, Hot coffee again. Okay, this is really nice. This is really pretty. And I brought that. Thanks. That looks good. Joining a little late. We're just crafting, Pam. Yeah, we're just, we're just hanging out. 
it's a little quiet at the store today. So, um, yeah, I don't know why they would be able to go right now. So splattering with the oxide sprays, I just open it up. So and just use this. Just tap, 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 tap. And because it's the oxide and it's got that pigment in it, it is going to sit on top of the other colors that I've done. And then I'm going to use some gold splatter. So this is the pale gold. I don't know if we're sold out of this one again. We I pre-ordered it. We still have a couple left of the pale gold. And I've ordered more of the brushes. So I just sprayed some water. This is the pale gold um, from Spellbinders. It's Yasutomo. It comes from Japan. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just roll my brush. I'm sorry if I get there. any of this on you. No. Well, we did say it was going to be a bit of a splash zone. Okay, that's cool. I like that. But I do want to add some gold when, uh, when you're done. Yep. Just need to add a bit more water. Roll my brush. We messy here at the paper and ink boutique. We embrace messy. We embrace the mess. Uh, yes, I, Sandra, get them out and play a lot. I, I feel like I just splattered my face with gold paint. You know, you know, you probably did. Okay, so um, I love edging my pages. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking that brush and just rolling it along the edge, like so. And I love doing that because it gives it like this, it almost looks like a gold embossed edge. Pam, I am just using my white Posca. So I just made it really, really juicy and then I was just tapping it on a pair of scissors to get the splatter. You can use lots of things for white splatter. There's Poscas, gesso, there's gesso, white acrylic paint. Um, there's the Dina Wakely gloss medium in the yeah. white. That just that one's really nice. Um, picket fence spray stain. Yep. Any white acrylic paint. Yeah. Gesso. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Okay. There. I'm done. Thank you. So I'm just gonna hold that up just so you can see. Look how pretty it's coming. It's just so pretty. Oof, geez. Yeah. Now I. Did you splatter it on your face yeah, too? <laughs> <laughs> Here, do you want this? <laughs> See, I'm used to splattering um, paint on my face. It doesn't even it doesn't even um, bother me anymore. Keep your mouth closed. Yeah. There we go. I added some gold splatter, and I'm gonna do my edges just like you did, because I think that sounds. Am like I bleeding? That. Or is that spray I stain? I think I think that's spray stain. <laughs> Sometimes. That's why I don't like using red spray stains because I look and it's like it seriously looks like a murder scene around here it's like I'm covered in red my hands are red yep sorry I should be I mean I want you to see what I'm doing oh it's so pretty did you see Don's comment uh no I missed Don's comment oh I used to think my kids were weird for watching YouTube videos of people gaming, and here I am watching other people craft. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> but you know what? That's kind of just how it is nowadays. And you know what, Joanne? Yes, it is. Oh, I just realized there's a gold splatter all over the laptop. Um, it is better than Netflix, Apple TV, and Prime combined. Absolutely, because, you know, this is unedited, unfiltered. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. You know, I am a fan of reality TV. I love reality TV. And this could be a show. This could be a show. You know what? You know what? We should start a Twitch account. We'll, we'll, have, a a show about we'll have a Twitch channel where we just uh, sit and crap. There, look how pretty. <laughs> I, those two colors, like look at the beautiful purples you've yes. got in there. Yes. So gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, so Darlene. Gorgeous. A nice way to start off the month. Oh, Bev, watching these videos is excellent therapy and inspiration for you. That's awesome. You know, sometimes I just tell people, just uh, sometimes it's just really good to um, just get your stuff out and play. Mm -hmm. 
with no um, really end project in sight. Mm -hmm. Because you have the things and you know, I, I get it. You know, some people make cards and they scrapbook and, and that's great. Like I'm not saying mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it's just good to play just for the sake of being crafty, right? Because it is very therapeutic. I find this very relaxing. And this is probably the first time you and I've created together in your entire life. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yep. You were never my crafty child. <laughs> yes, you were. Ever. And no ads. That's the best part. No There's ads. No ads. That's right. <laughs> we need a paper named Craft Channel. <laughs> it's called YouTube. So maybe at some, maybe I will download this and we'll load this yeah, up into. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll upload it to a dynamic duo, even though it's technically. Not not officially uh, dynamic officially. duo, but you know, well, this will be an unofficial yes. um, dynamic duo. You know what I think I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna add just a little bit more black uh, stamping with some of the smaller parts. I think. Yeah. So when you use the oxides, like you can see here, it's it's pushed some of them to the background, right? Yeah. So you can go over top of it with more stamping. So even, like, I, I love this, mm -hmm. but say I want to come in and do a little bit of dry brushing with gesso. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to put a person here, but I want them to stand out from the background. Oh. So I'm going to take a little bit of gesso and just dry brush it. Not, not enough gesso. Like maybe I just want to dry brush it over top of some areas too. It's not going to disappear. It's not going to completely cover it. Mm -hmm. It would if I would have gone over it with another um, with another layer. Mm -hmm. But I'm just kind of subduing some of the background. Mm -hmm. And because the background and the splatter are still water reactive, even though this isn't technically water, I'm adding another. Um, wet. liquid, medium. another wet medium, so it is going to activate with those um, colors mm -hmm. and suck some of that color up. So the white is not going to remain white, it is actually going to take on some of the color in the background. I also like doing this, so if I want to take a person, these areas are great grounding spots. Mm -hmm for things or for a sentiment or for something. So see if I was to put him here, he's not just floating in the middle right. of the page, right? right? He's actually standing in an area that I've created. So if I wanted to go over and because my ink, the ink that we used is permanent. So none of that black is going to move, mm -hmm. but the background colors are going to be sucked up in that gesso and white. So if you want it, there you go. And we're dry brushing, which means we're not putting any water on our brush. We're not trying to dilute the gesso. We're just trying to dry brush it on our background. Maybe that was too much. Now, yeah. If it was too much, you can take a baby wipe and wipe it back a little bit. Oops, guess you don't need to be drying him. Okay, so now I've put that on. Now, if I want to, I'm bringing this stamp set here. This is, again, I always talk about mark making stamps. This is probably one of my favorite ones happening right now. This is a Tracy Scott 085. This one came out maybe in January. Do you have your stamping block over there? Yeah, so now that I put the gesso on, I'm going to cover that part up. I've already decided I don't like that. <laughs> you could spray it again with your colors too. Oh, yes, Stamp, true. color it, yeah. or uh, spray it at me. I'll need the stamping block when you're doing So where I've put my gesso, I am doing some stamping. So now it's going to sit on top of the gesso and mm -hmm. not disappear into the background. Loving 
how this is looking. Looking good. Ooh, that actually worked really well. Here, what you could also do is, once it's dry, is to take one of your Poscas and outline it Ooh, as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. But it's also, if we have like a person who's sitting, they could actually sit on top of that, which would be really cool. I also like to think of the gesso as being a, um, a fixer of mistakes. So I've done pages where I've gotten to a certain point or I've made mud or I'm just like, I don't like where this is going. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Oh, um, I will actually take gesso and cover it over and actually start over. Mm, start over. So I never really throw out pages. I just cover them in gesso and start over. So it's a great primer for that. I'm loving how this is turning out. Love, love, love. Now here's another stamp set. I just brought these back in. Journal phrases one and two. Mm -hmm. And I love these. Let me grab my piece of paper so I can make my... Actually, do I want to use this? Oh, maybe I do. This one... This is another uh, stencil. This one is... Who is this one? Circle Dots by Indigo Blue. Love this one. Um, I need oh, Sandra, now I understand the purpose of gesso. Yes, I'm going to use, um, I was going to use gesso, but uh, I don't need that much. I'm just going to use a snowflake fresco finish, so it's just a white acrylic. And a foam. I don't like that foam. I like the dome foams. Somewhere are the dome foams. Here we go. Okay, so again, I'm using white acrylic paint. I'm just going to pick it up, tap it off, and now I'm going to use this to create just some, just another layer on my page. Now, because this is quite small, it's going to be very subtle, especially because I'm using the white. Very subtle. Very subtle. I need more white paint. Once it's dry, oops, once it dries, and plus it's gonna take up some of that white, or um, the color from the background as well. See, what I like about this is I've stamped dots and I'm adding dots from the stencil, so it's actually really cool. Sometimes I do things without necessarily um, thinking about them too much, but I am drawn to certain shapes. Yeah. Circles, dots. Oops. There we go. So I've outlined that heart down the corner there with my white Posca. That it makes it pop. I really like that. I really like that. Hmm. So, here we go. Hopefully you can see it. So I've used the circle dot stencil, but I've also done this dot stamp. So oh, stamp. I thought you did that freehand. I was like, when did you do that? No, it was the stamp. Oh, no. That's nice. Yeah. Mark making stamps are great. So again, it's very subtle, but I didn't want anything to be like too in your face, right? So I did a circle down here, I've done one in here, I've done a couple over top of these hearts, and I've done one up in here, which looks really cool. Now, um, this part has gotten very pushed to the background. Where did that stamp set go? The heart stamp set. Oh, it's over there. Oh. So, I think I might stamp one more. Now, 
Ooh, that's a nice heart. Mm -hmm. This is a great stamp set. It really is. If you like using hearts, this, um, what's it called again? Love Notes. Love Notes. It has every size and shape of heart, solid and outline. Yeah. And those are fantastic. We only have one stamping box. I'm actually using the lid oh, there you go. for my paint. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Do you have any white scrap paper? I just need to stamp a sentiment. Yep. It's foundation paper, is that okay? Yes. Perfect. Is that big enough? That is big enough. to bring in the fabric tape and wrap this. Okay. Yes, it would, Sandra. And make a very cool scrap of layout. Embrace the crazy. It seems like that's what we do every day. Yep. Sometimes we have crazy good times here. I shouldn't sometimes, say sometimes, well, all the time. Crazy good, and then sometimes just crazy. It's just crazy. It's straight <laughs> up crazy. You know, when you have those days where you drive home from work and you don't even put on the radio or any music, you just drive home in silence. <laughs> I've had many days like that. And then, I'll, and then I'll park and not even get out of my car for about 10 minutes. I'll just sit there in the silence because my day was just so crazy and I am so overstimulated, you know? In a good way, then. <laughs> Darlene, we learn so much from your videos. Great way to start every month. Hint, hint. <laughs> Are you saying this is something we should do every, at the beginning of every single month? Just start off the month with some creative just, goodness. Just crappy time. It sounds like you're having fun. We are having no, fun. No, we're not. It's no fun, Glenn. No. This is work. She's stinky. I don't want to sit next to her anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. She doesn't think. Embrace the crazy. Actually, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do that too. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have more scrap? I don't know. There's probably more scrap at the end. Yeah. Embrace the crazy. I need a person though. <laughs> I found I found something. Um, um where'd that stamp set go that you were using with the sentiments? Oops, I found my, I just found my piece of scrap paper. <laughs> it was hiding. Well, you know what, at least you found it. Did you guys not have the magnetic pads that fit in these things? So that you are, for your die cuts and stuff, uh, a magnetic plate, so that your die cuts, you don't have to tape them on, they will stick. For your stamp platform or for your die cutting machine? For my die cutting machine. Those are over there. Over there? Glenn? Yeah. That's okay. The magnetic plates for the die cutting machines oh. are up over there. Okay. I find 
I need to move here to the corner of this table to stand. Mm. I find stamping in the middle of the table kind of because it has too much give to it. Yeah. I'm going to use Embrace the Crazy as well. Okay, there we are. I am going to add a little bit of color to this lady. Let's add, I'm going to add some purple. Just using my distress watercolor pencils. Embrace the crazy. Embrace the crazy. How's everyone doing? We don't hide our crazy, we craft it and share it. That is exactly right, Sandra. Exactly. That is exactly right. Well, you know what, darling? Maybe I should just do it and then I can have guests. You can just start the month off with me and my um, my lack of experience and just in you know in, join me on my journey of discovery. <laughs> Crafty discovery, and then like even you guys can give me suggestions, because you know sometimes it's like I I can't come up with things to try. It's just someone will say something out loud. It's like oh huh yeah no I should try that. I wouldn't have thought of that. But yeah maybe I should do that. Just do uh we probably should. probably won't do it for an hour and a half. I won't do it this long. But you know yeah we should we should do a we should do a podcast. A podcast, yes. Brianna's crafty journey. Brianna's crafty journey. Brianna's crafty journey to finding creative balance. That <laughs> is. That is what it would be. Yes. Scissors. I do not want to use my adhesive cutting scissors to cut out my sentiment because then I'll get adhesive. You have two pairs of. Cutter bee scissors? Yeah, I use one for cutting my foam tape, strictly my foam tape, and then one just for fussy cutting. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that is that like a faux pas? Should I no, not? Okay. Not a faux pas. I was just. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Well, I saw other people doing it. I was like, that's a good idea. <laughs> do you not have multiple pairs of scissors? Oh no, I do. I have multiple pairs. You just don't have one dedicated to adhesive? I, I don't have two. Two cutter bees? Two cutter bees. Oh. Well, I mean, one pair works, so why not, <laughs> why not two? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is crafty balance an actual thing? Well, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> That's what I was going for. But if it's not, well, then I guess uh, I'll forever be searching. <laughs> This one, dried marigold. Yes, dried marigold is a really great skin tone. I think I'm gonna. I wanna. I wanna look at uh, fancy ladies. I wanna look at fancy ladies. This is where. Here, I'm gonna start adding my own flair. Not following. <laughs> Yay! Yep. 
Okay, so let me look. So I colored, oh, I need to add some color to her hair. Let's do, I'm going to give her pink hair. She will be Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra, are you watching? Are you watching? That's fun. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my embossing glazes with the, and do a couple hearts with my embossing glazes. Ooh, that's a great idea. Pop them up. Because I have, let's see here, do I have, Is that Uncharted Mariner? Is it with Appar match? Apparently it says Mermaid Lagoon. I thought I had Uncharted Mariner. Oh. I guess I don't. But, I mean, I... What's that one? This one? Yeah. That one's Salty Ocean. Hmm. The purple, actually, the purple, this because one? you've got purple tones in there, the purple would look really nice. Which purple? I've got Wilted Violet and Sea I Whispers think, or... well, either. I think the wilted violet would pop a little bit more. Yeah. It's a bit of a brighter color. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Where'd that stamp set go? Oh, it's over right there. And I guess I need to go get some. Yeah. The craft or math is happening. Yeah, things are going off the rails. Well, as soon as we're done, this is going to take us the rest of the day to clean up the workshop and the mess we made. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got two classes tomorrow, so we gotta get the workshop into shape. So I'm just cutting out this stamped image. Welcome, Sandra. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we don't normally do this for this long, but you know what? We're here, so. When you get in the groove. You get in the groove. Uh, okay, let's see here. I'm going to do, I'm not going to be too big. Let's do that one. Let's do this one. So I think this is the messiest my hands have ever been ever <laughs> when crafting. Good thing we've got some scrubby soap. Yes. We will be scrubbing our hands after. I like, I, I don't like a lot of mess, but sometimes. Especially in your little tiny condo, but when you're here, it's fine. Yes. Make the mess here. Yes. That is what the workshop is for. Crafty messes. This is more fun than Monday Night Live because Monday Night Live I'm by myself. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of there, but I'm behind a screen and I'm yeah. not in the same room. But yes, I agree. This is very lovely. Okay. Let's do this. I don't think I've even used this yet. No, it looks pretty full. I know. Oh, wow. These are going to be bright. my straight edge. If I had my straight edge cutters, I would cut these little bits out, but I don't. So it's fine. It's All fine. Good. Everything's fine. Everything's
Hi, Judy. Judy, Judy, welcome, welcome. I love it. <gasps> Ooh. these up and then cut them out and I'll pop them up and I'll attach all my things. Those are so nice. I'm actually going to take this off because I find this irritating. Thank you all for sticking around this long. Yeah. We're, we're almost at the two hour mark here. Are we? Yeah, we are. It hardly even feels like it. Hey, we're working hard over here. We're working hard. We're we're keeping our customers happy by showing them creative things. It is fun, Nancy. It is. Almost there. Almost there. Those are beautiful. Aren't they cute? They are. Those are gorgeous. I don't use my embossing glazes enough. So the one thing about embossing glazes is uh, they are translucent as well. They are. So, um, and they work really well with the oxides because the oxides have a pigment in them and the oxides will stay sticky, right? So it, what was this, wilted violet? Wilted violet. So if you, if she would have used wilted violet distress oxide and then did the wilted violet over top, that purple that you see, because right now it's translucent, but sitting on white. So if she would have put it on the wilted violet distress oxide, it would become this really deep, rich color. Yeah. So if you've got the embossing glazes, try them with your distress oxide. Yes. Oh, bye, Joanne. Yes, we will upload this. Oh, and she's saying, please do more. We will try. We, we will try. It helps when the weather's like this, because yeah. it gives us some time to be able to sit down and have some play time like this with you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna get these cut out and then I'll finish up my page and then... And then we'll let everyone go about their day. Yes. And then Brianna and I will be here cleaning. <laughs> cleaning up. I have had to go pee so bad. <laughs> Sorry, that's TMI, but I just, did, I just, I just want to keep playing. Well, you're sitting there. I'll just do a flip through of, of this journal. This is one of many journals that I have, which it's getting really full. I just keep adding pages to it. So I need to actually take these out and bind them together. But I love these. Ooh, Nancy's using eight things that she hasn't opened. Good for you, Nancy. Nice. Good for you. This was a class. I think this was Explore last year. Unusual Elements. This was another class I did. Tracy Scott inspired. Sometimes I'm thinking ahead and I write notes on the back of them so I remember what I used. Oh, this is what I did today. There you go. Actually, I feel like I'm going to use my crayons around my sentiments here because they're just kind of sitting on top. So if I run that around the outside. There we go, it kind of gives it a bit of a shadow. Which one am I using? I didn't even look, walnut stain. I'm just using my walnut stain watercolor pencil just around the outside and then taking a, just a wet brush and just activating that to give that a bit of a shadow. I guess she looks like she's embracing the crazy. <laughs> Is that you at the end of the day sitting in your car? Yes. <laughs> Except I'm not cross-legged, but yes. I am watching you mother up from Diane. Hi, Diane. How are you doing? She likes your nails. Oh no, she brought a. She's in radium. 
brought out her die cuts and paper and she forgot her big shot. Oh no. That's very unfortunate, Diane. I am so sorry. <laughs> Fussy cutting. Oh no, but she's got dies. Oh yes, okay. That looks really good. Those hearts look amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. See, sometimes it's good to just play. Yeah. Especially these things. It's so nice. I've got art journals going back about 10 years. So it's always fun going back and looking and being like, oh, I remember when I created that. Or, oh, I haven't done that technique in a while. Or, so it's always kind of fun. And, um, of course, I'm going to come in with my Wink Estella. Because I just can't help myself. She just can't help herself. She's got to get out the Wink Estella every single time. Every time. I gotta fill in. I like, I want to fill in these white spaces on these cards. But not so that they're colored, just so that they have some shimmer. Some sh Hi, Linda. Hey, Linda. And I'm gonna use it on her as well. I'm gonna make her eyeshadow all nice and sparkly there, maybe her lips. <laughs> we'll make this flower on her head here sparkly too. And you can attest, growing up, I wasn't one for sparkle. No, yet, definitely not. Yet here I am. I love the sparkle. I can't help myself. Okay, now I can call that one done. I actually love how this turned out. Love this. There we go. Look at you go. Now you need an art journal to put that in. Yeah. Or I can put it in this one. Here, yeah, how about let's do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, well... You need to sign your, to get one of your white things and sign your name to it. Oh, or your white Posca. On the front? Wherever. Wherever. Well, it's just. There you go. Just a little BC. A little BC. A little BC. Hi, Melody. Done. There you go. But we will take photos of these and put them in the um, enablers group. Yes. Not the enablers group, what that am I saying? The inspiration the group. group. <laughs> of all our projects that we made yes. and um, hopefully they give you a little bit of inspiration and maybe uh, some confidence to get out your spray stains or your spray oxides or even if you just want to take advantage of our sale and just grab a couple of colors mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. also a great idea so yes. there you go thanks so much everyone yes, for joining us it's been fun hanging out with you um we're gonna say goodbye now but we will be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock for uh saturday morning live bye, bye everyone